Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Firdaus bin Ahmad Tosim and my supervisor is Professor Madya Dr. Muhammad Hussein bin Ismail. So today I'm going to present on my final year projects titled Systematic Solution to Monitor Blow Molding Machines Downtime at Gaya Plus Berhad. In this study, a systematic solution utilizing the Internet of Things based system is implemented to access the downtime issues that happen in Gaia Plus. Machine downtime is a major setback, especially in the manufacturing industry. Machine downtime can be associated with a lot of factors like product defects, low productivity, and also the quality of the products. Move to my project introductions. Who is Gaia Plus and why is this project matter? Gaia Plus Berhad is a SMX manufacturing company that involved in plastic industry and is located at the Teluk Panglima Garang, Selangor. Gaia Plus has been established since 2006 and operating until now. The main activity there is manufacturing plastic jerry can. Gaia Plus also has a collaboration with UITM in manufacturing the G95 face shield during the early pandemic COVID-19 situation. So have you heard about jerry can? Let me tell you. Jerry can is a container that can store various kinds of fluids like chemicals, fuels, oil and also pharmaceutical. It comes with various shapes, size, design and also colors. Plastic jerry can is an innovation that comes from the original steel jerry can that has been widely used and manufactured since the World War II. Plastic jerry can is made from the high density polyethylene, calcium carbonate and also the master bash for the colors. All these raw material undergoes the process of the extrusion blow molding. As industrial revolution evolved, advanced machine which is Tomva extrusion blow molding machine that come with automation control sensors and IOO monitor was being used here. So what is extrusion blow molding? Extrusion blow molding is the forming process of the blowing a mold cavity shaped person that is formed by thermoplastic molten of a hollow component. It is the most common and effective way in producing a hollow component like bottles, containers and also toys. There are three parts in blow molding. The first one is the Parisian extrusion where the raw material is melted and injected by the extruder. Then the Parisian inflation where the molten hollow tube is clamped by the mold and get to blow to shape. The third one is part solidification where the fresh plastic cools and gets solidified. So let's move to my literature review of my research project. So what is machine downtime? Machine downtime can be defined as a period of time when production is stopped running especially during a operation setup or under maintenance. Fox and all 2008 have mentioned that the machine downtime is very costly to the manufacturing company and it is difficult to quantify. Riggs 1987 have mentioned that reducing downtime serves the purpose of uptime optimization for the machine. Silva Silva and Gajan Rai by 2014 stated that minimizing downtime needs good intelligence accompanied by the sufficient intervention. So it requires a regular analysis and also audit process of the production to identify the system of functions. So here are some previous research that have been done that matter for this project. The first one is Noto by Impact PTG websites. The journal title was Downtime Monitoring System with PLC Technology. So the journal shows that how they invent the downtime monitoring by using Easy touch screen and also DL5 PLC to sense the machine condition. All data collected from the PLC relay using Lookout Direct, then by time they upgrade it to the Excel format. Snapkin at all. I've made a research on the production monitoring system, development and also modifications. Here they shows the development and monitoring system available advanced MES and visual module for the SMEs that can benefit them. KWASIAN 2017 have research on the Internet of Things online monitoring system based on cloud computing. The research shows the functionality of the Amazon Web Service, no SQL database and also the ZigBee in order to perform a large data analysis. Richard Jain 2018 has invented the IoT-based patient health monitoring using the Wi-Fi module and the Arduino. So here the researcher utilized the Arduino Uno Wi-Fi modular ESP8266 ThinkSpeak online database platform and also sensors and Google spreadsheets 
or make a health monitoring system for the healthcare section. So Lakshmi and all invent the IoT based food tracking system. In this project, they aim to monitor the food level on the inventory. They use the node MCU to transmit data to the MQTP broker using Wi-Fi signal. From the MQTP broker, then it transmits to the subscriber. So here come for the problem statement. So as for the problem segment, the first problem identified was the Gaia Plus faced the difficulties in monitoring machines downtime. They are still using the manual approach that surely require a lot of work process. So the diagram shows the current ways of the system flow on the downtime monitor and reporting. When the machine suddenly break down or produce defects products, the operator need to inform the standby technician to perform maintenance. After that, the technician will come and take note the stoppage time before performing the maintenance. After finished maintenance, the technician need to be re to record the machine stoppage time and also the running time in the Excel format at the PC stations. After finish one shift, the technician need to report recorded data in PDF format to the factory manager. For monthly and annual reports, it is documented by extracting the downtime data from the daily until monthly. So the second one is by using manual approach, it is possibly can trigger many faulty to the existing production plan and also the maintenance schedule for the machine. So these two problems are clearly need to be solved in a way to sustain the company in the market. So let's move to the objective of the research project. The first one, the project aims to understand and evaluate different types of machines, downtime of flow molding process and its classification. The second one is to design and implement data access point and client applications for downtime monitoring on web-based and also mobile-based applications or internet. The last one is to deploy the system developed on the existing production line to access the real time for machine downtime. Let's jump to the project methodology. One method to identify problem and collect the data used here is qualitative approach, which called participant observations. Here, I participate myself in the observations, in the work process and also the community. And at the same time, I am the observer. I got my industrial training at the Gaia Plus and luckily I have a chance to do some research and it took three months of my training. So the biggest responsibility here I get is to handle overall downtime by myself. There, evaluation process identification and classification of different machine downtime types of low modeling process has been done from my industrial training program great understanding of machine downtime for the blow molding machine has been earned so here is the research and design process flow so i start with the identification of the field study involved which i study the article related then i analyze the article and also after finish doing some research, I developed the system operation. Completing the system operation, we proceed to testing the system operations. So after the system was stabilized, the data will be gathered. With a lot of data, then it's time to evaluate the data in the result and final step is for the report and documentation of the projects. To build the system, I need to utilize some of features of the internet. First, I am using the Ionic platform to develop mobile apps and uh, make design for the graphical user interface. Then I am using Firebase, which is the large cloud database platform as a medium to store the data on the online platforms. Last, I use Atom software to code and compile for my programs. So this is the proposed system design. So when the system starts, system need the data from the reporting set action, which consists of times dates and also the reason why the machine stopped. Then the data will transfer to the Firebase which is the cloud platform, cloud database. And at the same time it will notify the management system device with the push notification or the SMS module. After that Firebase will keep track on the data. Then data will be manipulated into graphical illustrations for better view and understanding of what is currently happening at the shop floor. Then data will be 
display to online dashboard by a unit at application and also the desktop. So here comes as the last part for my presentation, which is which is the expected result from this project. This is a few expectations from my projects. The first one, the system must be accessible to mobile and also the desktop. The second one is the system should have a secure database. Next, the system should have online dashboard that have a design interactive menu and a great data visualization. So the last one is the system must be mobile that the data can be accessed anytime and everywhere. So this is the expected of the front page of the apps where it requires user ID to verify the limited access of the data. Then this is the dashboard that contains operator reporting forms, daily downtime reports, and also the an overview of months and annual progress. Here is the reporting page where the user can report directly on why machine stop and the detail of machine stop on the right side. The user needs to put details like date, time, and the reason. This is the expected documentation page that can be displayed on the current available reserve time for each machine, show the daily report and downtime, and also the graphical analysis. These are the expected layout of the dashboard page from, for the PC or desktop, and it functions as the same way as the phone does. So, the expected result read my presentation of my final year project. That's all from me. Thank you.